definitely a well-maintained boat. This is a catch rigged boat. I just got down below and wow. What's up everybody? Today I've got for you the tour of a very special Steel Mason 33. This one is certainly a rare find. You won't believe how nice she is for her age, especially on the interior. And for less than most new cars nowadays, she can sail you to anywhere in the world. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's the single best way to support these videos and it's totally free. So thank you in advance and without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right, guys, I just stepped aboard and yeah, this is, this is gonna be a cool boat for sure. You can already tell how solid she feels. Steel boat, gotta love them. Nice big side decks going forward. Integral steel handrails going all the way forward as well. Good ventilation, life raft up top exhaust for the diesel stove granny bars over the main mast continuing forward very safe deck for sure and once you get to the four peak here there's a nice big four deck up here lots of space for activities uncluttered vertical windlass two big samson posts welded to the hull Dual bow roller on the bow sprit. Rockna anchor on the bow sprit. Looking aft. Definitely a well maintained boat. I like her a lot. And she's a really, really good price. At this price point, man, this is a great boat. Whisker pull up here on the foredeck. Granny bars on that main mast. Looking up the rig, this is a catch rigged boat. So that's gonna give you a lot of options for your sail plan and a generally shorter rig than a masthead sloop, which is also an advantage. Really cool. And then there's that doghouse right there to get you out of the weather for protection. And yeah, I mean, I like, I like how easy it is to go fore and aft on this boat. And then once you're back here, this is a pretty long cockpit and you've got your mizzen mast directly in the middle. So the actual helm is just aft of the mizzen right there. Main is sheeted forward of the helm and the mizzen is sheeted back there. There are four winches, two primary self tailors. Then all the way to the aft deck, there is a wind vane, self steering gear. And then a little aft compartment back here. More ventilation. Very important on a steel boat. And the helm station. Right here we've got the usual instruments. Ship's bell. And then two big cockpit lockers back here so lots of storage in the cockpit nice big cockpit comfortable cockpit for a boat this size for sure and of this vintage all right guys let's go ahead and go down below before we get to the interior of this boat, I want to thank Raycom for sponsoring this video. Now, sponsorships like this help keep the content flowing, so I also want to thank you guys as well for understanding. Today, I'm working on the van, and as you might have noticed, I've gotten a lot done since the last time 
y'all have seen it. A crucial part to all of that work that I've gotten done has been my Raycon earbuds. I basically can't work on projects like this unless I'm listening to either music, an audiobook, or a podcast. By providing great sound for everyone at about half the cost of other premium brands, Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry. They have tons of battery life with 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours total with the charging case, which is important to me because... I've been both going out for long runs and working all day projects and have never had to worry about them running out of power. The seamless Bluetooth pairing means you just pop them in your ears and start listening. It's so easy. I also like to keep them in when I'm working on projects because the noise isolating feature helps reduce ambient noise and helps me focus on what I'm doing. They're also super secure and won't fall out while working. There's easy tap functions to toggle between three customizable sound profiles, also noise isolation and awareness mode. There's a bunch of colors, patterns, fit options, and best of all, no dangling wires or stems. Raycon was co-founded by Ray J. Also, celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Melissa Etheridge, and Mike Tyson are obsessed with these earbuds. And finally, there's a 30-day return policy, so why not try them? So if you want to help support Learning the Lines and get a great set of earbuds, click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash LTL to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thanks for sticking with me. Now let's get back to the boat tour. All right, guys, I just got down below and wow. Let me just do a little 360 here to give you guys a quick look. This is a really, really well-maintained and well-fitted out steel boat. Look at the woodwork, guys. Look at the quality of the woodwork. It looks really nice. Let's go ahead and first start with the companion way just the steps look at that look at how they kind of are attached they're not even touching this area right here we've got a control panel right here battery on off switches this is going to be where the engine is this whole area comes out now this boat's really well fitted out and in really good shape the woodwork looks awesome but it is a small boat and it kind of reminds me of freebie a little bit in the design because you know, after we took out the quarter berth, there's no quarter berth back here. There's no aft cabin. So, you know, you only have big storage compartments back there in the cockpit. You've got some storage back there. The galley takes up the entire companionway area. It's full beam. You know, you've got a gimbal stove on this side. There's going to be storage down below there, a sink. That's actually going to be trash storage behind that stove. Turning to starboard. You've got more storage. This is actually kind of a nav station right here. Just a little, you know, nav station. Got some more controls right there. Another control panel for electronics and electrical. And then right here is gonna be the cold storage. So everything you need for cruising, nothing you don't. Kind of in a somewhat unusual layout. You don't normally see galleys kind of favor the full beam under the companion way that often and then forward of that is actually a diesel stove so this is going to be a diesel stove for your heat but you can also use it for cooking as you can see there's a teapot on top of it so you can use it for both heat and cooking which is kind of nice and then the exhaust goes out the boat right there looking forward there's kind of a love seat sized settee on the starboard side here and i thought that it wasn't going to be long enough to use as a c bunk but i was mistaken because you can put your feet in that cubby hole right there in the kind of storage area that we'll look at in a little bit right there and then looking to port there is a full length settee right here a table that folds out in multiple ways so it becomes a full size table and then lots of storage all around and high quality joinery. I guess the previous owners were actually woodworkers, so looks really good. This is also a really cool feature right here. This is actually a seat. So you can stick your head up and put your head out the doghouse. And then this folds out as well so that you can see your GPS as well. So really kind of creative. I don't know, that looks, this looks pretty, secure but i would like to see this attached to something down here maybe it does and i'm just not seeing it but yeah just an interesting idea at least <laughs> pretty cool i might modify it a little bit if it was me though or maybe this is really strong i don't know how that was engineered so 
I'm certainly not gonna try to sit on it right now. But anyway, that folds back up just like that. Let's go ahead and start moving forward. One of the things I did notice is that this cabin sole is a bit squeaky and I don't really know how to go about fixing that. But other than that, everything else in here seems really nice and solid. Continuing forward. There is this little area right here. Kind of more of a storage area for things. Some extra counter space. And this is that, you know, this is that cubby that you can put your feet in if you're laying and using this as a sea berth. The head is gonna be right here. And this is a modest sized wet head. It does have a sink that folds down, it looks like. Pretty cool. Compression post right there. Continuing forward. The main cabin is all the way forward on this boat. It is a V-berth, pretty standard V-berth. However, it is, it does have a larger, you know, V area where you can get in and out of it pretty easily. So it is a good size and two people can definitely sleep up here. Fairly comfortable. There's some solar panels stored down here as well. Very cool. And then look at aft. And lastly, engine access for a boat this size is actually really good. And this is a practically new Yanmar diesel with like less than 300 hours on it, I believe. All right, guys, it is a hot one today and I am going to start the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, if it were still just me and Randy, I think we'd have already bought this boat. She's a great vessel for a couple that's looking for a budget blue water cruiser that's ready to go. Probably too small for a family of four like ours though. Where she lacks in size, she makes up with robustness, seaworthiness, and affordability. As with all her videos, the current asking price and the broker contact information is going to be in the description below. So that's going to be it for this one. Be sure to do all the usual stuff and I'll see you in the next one. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it